everyone, it's my amazing zoo and today I'll be doing a video, an, another video on my series about what not to buy at PetSmart. This is the rabbit edition. I mean, a ton of people watched that video. I think, um, sorry, trying to make sure that stays on. Um, I think around 200 or something watched the video and that's one of my most viewed videos right now. So I thought I better start doing more of the series. So today we're doing the rabbit edition. Um, first, we'll start off with pine bedding. Now pine bedding is bad for your rabbit because um, the resp it can cause respiratory problems. Um, I'm not really sure the component in pine that makes that happen. I just know that it's bad for their lungs and bad for their overall health. And there's much better alternatives. Another um, bedding would be cedar wood shavings. Um, again, this can cause respiratory problems. Now, the only really safe wood-based um, bedding that I know is safe for most small animals is aspen. So the next thing is the great choice small pet cage. If you were talking to me, I guess you, I wouldn't really call a rabbit a small pet. They need quite a lot of space, unlike hamsters. Hamsters can do well in bin cages or detoffs, and guinea pigs, again, really need a lot of space, just like rabbits. Now this cage is $69, which you could get a large size X-Pen for that or less, pretty much. Or you could build them a CNC cage, which I'm not really positive how much that will cost because I've never built my rabbit a CNC cage before. And so this obviously is too small for a rabbit. And if you hear little feet on the hardwood, it's my dogs back here. Um, there is like a second level or something on there, and it just doesn't look very big. And you could get a much better alternative for the same price. Now the next thing is this farm fixing tropical carnival treat. Now there is a rabbit, it says for rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, and other small animals. Now this is not suitable for rabbits or guinea pigs. And I'm not positive if it's suitable for hamsters because I don't know the ingredients, but I can see right now off the bat with these pumpkin seeds, and I can see other sunflower seeds in there which are not good for guinea pigs or rabbits. The next thing is the KT Soft Granule Blend. It's lavender scented, which is the problem. This can also cause respiratory problems and you should never really buy scented bed bedding. The last thing is this All Living Thing Shampoo. It has a rabbit, a rat, and a guinea pig on the front. I'm not positive about rats. I never had a rat before, so I don't know if they should take baths. But I know hamsters shouldn't, neither should rabbits. Guinea pigs can and should about once a year or once every six months, not very often. Um, so, obviously there's a rabbit on the front, implying that this should be used for rabbits when act in actuality, rabbits should never have a bath. So, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys like this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we hit 50 subscribers. That's awesome. I think we're up to 54 now. And another thing I wanted to mention is I have been accepted for the Binky Bunny Patrol. I think it's the channel name is Binky Patrol, though. And me, Pepper Bunny, um, Bunny Love, Hamster All Stars 47, Jenny H. Um, what else? And, and Bunny My Honey, sorry if I forgot anyone. So those are the people who will be in the collab. I'll um, try to leave a link in the description. I'm bad at leaving links, so yes. Yeah, so, well, sorry about my dogs, I saw the mailman and you know, you guys know how that goes. So they were barking a lot. 
Um, but yeah, I'll try to leave a link in the description. And yeah, I'll be hopefully posting my videos on that channel on Tuesdays every week. So, and that's pretty much all about rabbits. So that's why I wanted to include it in this video because people who have rabbits probably are watching this video. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.